hello guys welcome back to another android app development tutorial and today i'll show you how to create and display a custom toast message and most of the code will be the same as discussed in our last video where i have explained all the basics of a simple toast so if you haven't watched that video i must say you should also watch that video link will be visible at the right top corner or in this video description and if you guys new in this channel then please consider subscribe anyway let's get started so guys i have already created this project in the last video which has a button with a on click method display toast and this method is actually defined in our main activity dot java anyway now to create a custom toast we have to create a layout resource file and to save time i have already created that file called custom toast so you can design your own layout according to your need and here in this layout file you must notice this relative layout which has an id called root layout and inside this parent layout i have defined an image view and a text view where image view is associated with an id called icon and text views id is txt message therefore we can refer these widgets in java if required any further modification now let's move on to the main activity dot java and inside the display toast method i'll write all the required code to display our custom toast layout but before that we have to retrieve the layout inflator so layout inflator called inflator equal to get layout inflator then using this inflator variable we have to inflate the layout in a view variable so now i'm going to create a view variable called custom toast layout then equal to inflator dot inflate then r dot layout dot custom toast then comma next we have to pass a view group so can you remember the id of relative layout yes root layout and that is what we need to pass here as a as a view group so find view by id r dot id dot root layout now press alt enter and cast it as a view group now using this inflated view variable we can find rest of the child views such as text view image view and so on let's see how so i'm going to create a text view variable let's name it txt message then equal to custom toast layout dot find view by id r dot id dot txt message now i will add some text txt message dot set text let's say welcome to toaster so like this text view you can also follow the same steps to find and change the value by calling their corresponding set methods well now we must create a toast object so toast let's say m toast equal to new toast then pass the context now i will set a duration m toast dot set duration then toast dot length long then mtoast dot set view 
and here we have to pass our view variable called custom toast layout. Finally, to display it, simply call mtoast dot so, and that's it. Now I'm going to build the project to see in action. Let's press the display toast button and here is our custom toast message on its default position. However, you can watch my last video where I have discussed about how to display a toast on a specific position. And that's it for today. So guys, if you still have any questions or suggestions, then please drop your message in the comment box. And if you think this video helped you little bit to understand what custom toast is, then please give your thumbs up and of course subscribe for more contents like this one. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening.